So we defined an ordinary permutation, and then we defined a special case of an ordinary permutation that's known as a circular permutation. And now we're going to look at something called a non-distinct permutation, which is a second special type of permutation. In a typical permutation counting problem, all of the n objects are distinct. That is to say, in our previous example where we used enumeration, we had three distinct objects, which were the letters A, B, and C, and we wanted to take them two at a time. Now what we want to do is consider the possibility of just R distinct types of objects in the end. So here is the theorem that's associated with non-distinct permutations. The number of permutations of N objects, of which N1 are of the first type, n2 are of the second type, all the way up to n sub r of the rth type is n factorial divided by n1 factorial, n2 factorial, n3 factorial, all the way up to n sub r factorial, where n1 plus n2 plus n3 all the way up to n sub r is equal to n. This will be the formula that we use to determine the number of non-distinct permutations in the examples that follow.